Hello, this is another look at Photoshop Elements. I, one of my pastimes for just a bit of fun is taking normal images by other people that normally don't have a name on them, so you don't know who made them, and then I dress them up and put um, images and stuff on them just to make them more exciting, a little bit of fun. So I just want to show some of those here, and like here's a good example. This one I think might have been too halves. There was a thing about two, three years ago on Facebook where they kept doing two halves on an image. I'm not sure why. So I would take the two halves, do a screenshot, which is you click the press screen button, and I would do the screenshot put it in a program, cut it out as a, as a squ square, and then dress it up. And in this case here, I coloured in all the first letters. Then I added the cat, which comes from the graphics down here. Oh, which one? Yeah, that cat there. So I added him. And this is Message of Life, I think it says. So I always thought it was kind of funny if someone actually did make it, they'd see their image up with all these strange um, <laughs> things on them and think, who did that? So, yeah. <coughs> Goldie. Now, this is, this is the same sort of thing. This is only this image. And I don't think it had those on it because they come from here. So... I would guess it's just that piece there. I stick it on a bigger, what we call the canvas. The canvas is the outside piece. This isn't the canvas. This is the canvas. And I got an image and I stick it on that, put a shadow behind it. Then I added individual, oh, those two, the heart. And they are actually all from here. Um, have we got the butterfly? Which I'll see if I can find something. As you can see, there's a lot of really nice images. And there's a little, what's it called? Gingerbread men, too. And there's hearts. There's, there's all sorts of things you can add just to dress up a. Here's one of the gingerbread men there. See that one there? So just to dress it up. And make it little, look a little more fancy. You could put the word joy on there. Like um, up here. You know, something like that. And you just just make it a little more presentable. Um, That's the flower. That one there. So it just looks a little nicer. There's the beer. And I don't put my name on it. Oh, I have on this one actually. I have two. Well, normally I don't, but in some I suppose I do. Here's another one, and this is an image here. I put it on a larger image, and then I put these on it, just to make it look a little more pre oh, I the words presentable, uh, uh, nicer. This one here I just added butterflies and so you don't have to add a lot you just add a little piece or you can just put a, a different background on and then the original image has this nice background but this one with the four butterflies sort of goes with the you know image about love could be four hearts instead of four butterflies see what I'm getting at so you can enhance other people's images and not put your name on it or anything and then just put it back out there and people have no idea who did it. I've actually done a huge amount. Um, but it's, you know, not that known. This is one here and all I did was put that little the little cat. I just stuck the cat there. So, for the fun of it. Um, I think... This is the one with the bubbles. This is a whole one done by me in here.
Photos, just another example of what you can do in Photoshop Elements. This is my old web address. It's actually changed. I actually tried to get that back again, but um, Facebook wouldn't let me have it. So I can't um, do that one again for some reason. I'm not sure why they won't let me have it, but they won't. Um, now, what you can do is, let's see this one here. You can take this one here. So you've got this. This is like one of these, and it has nothing on it. Now, believe in yourself could have, okay, we'll just put the cat, the cat in here, okay. So the cat can go there. And then you can find something that would be bright, uh, maybe a flower. Uh, what else? A rose, you could put another bunch of flowers over there. I've used these, these flowers a lot, those ones there. And you can resize them, as you can see that flower up there. You can actually take it, put it over here, and resi resize this if, if you think it's too small and you want something a little, I mean too big, you want something a little smaller. This one's going off the canvas, so let's run that into there. Um, there's joy, there's the hearts. There's, if you put the um, flash bulb on, it's the same as um, Edison doing the, it means uh, an invention, it means a bright idea. So you could put that down here and as a, you know, at the end saying this, this is a bright idea. So that's another thing you can do. There's various hearts and things on here. Um, you could... You know, that would be good for a good one on love. Um, what else is there? And then on top of that, you can actually import your own photos as well. So it doesn't just have to be what's here. You can actually paste in other photos from other um, different software. And there's also patterns. And you might want to just put a branch or a, a guitar. You know, the guitar, I've used it a few times too. Now, if you think the guitar looks too, you know, too, um, just too normal, you can put a bit of a lean on it. Now, you can also do, like, four corners. So you say, oh, well, I'm going to do all the corners and see the, the cat's nearly to the edge over here, so I'll move the cat over a bit, the cat could be made smaller too, and another thing you could do is just get the cat like that, stick the cat on there, and he's now sitting on there, so you could do something like that as well, um, let's chuck a heart on there, over there, and, oh there you go, it's for education, so you could put up that, when you believe in yourself, uh, if you're studying exams, so it, I think that's one of those hats. But you probably find something a bit better. Another thing you can do to dress them up is put these on. These are quite neat, and they're um, that's a corner, and you can. Oh, it flipped the whole image. It's not supposed to flip the whole image. I have to do that. Uh, I've selected it. So I'm just trying to figure out how to flip it. I've done it before. Anyway, you flip it for each one and you rotate it and you do all that. Um, for some reason, it decided to rotate the whole entire thing. I'm not really sure. You see, it should be free rotate layer. So rotate layer 90% left there you go so that's right there oh that can go in the bottom corner okay so that one would go there and then you just drag another one and you just do the the rotate and put 
them in different corners and you've got four of these on it and it's like those um, in the old scrap box you used to slip your photo in these little glued in corner pieces and it protected the photo so I think it's supposed to be one of those another thing I do is this I think these are lovely I put these on um, if you have a look around you know you see images with these on it and the silly little cat they're probably done by me I've done hundreds so I'm only just saying a few and I tend to delete them once I've done them because um, you know these ones here these dress up an image quite nicely and you can rotate them flip them and do everything whatever you want with them those they're quite lovely and they they look nice on the side of an image and you can join them together and make other patterns with them these they are So you set what you can do. Now if you save that, you can then paste it into um, Believe in Yourself and you will be unstoppable. Um, you would go Select All. You would go Copy Merged. Then you would... You would go to your Facebook page and you would go on it and you would just go paste and there it is so that's quite um, we've just done up an image put it up there and people will say oh that's nice you know so and it's it's still got the message there you got to be careful you don't put too many images on so the message gets lost in the images and so it's kind of a balancing. I actually think this one has too many things on it, but I'll just show you how to do it. <clears throat> but if you if you put less on it, it's fine. You know, it doesn't have to be all that. So yeah, so that's what you can do. Um, what I suppose so that's that's how you have I shown this one. This one here is one image. And another image, so you can actually get two. So this is by Talk Amen, I think it says. And this is probably by another company. A lot of people blank them out. I've had pull images up and had my name on them, and they rub them out, or they blur them, that part where the image is, where your name is. So it's hard to read. So that could be why these are hard to read. Someone else has already done it. But you can paste these on and you got a double message instead of just a single message and you can put hearts or whatever else on it to dress it up as well and have a background that you chose um, Photoshop Elements does have backgrounds uh, where are they? there so these backgrounds can be used and there's quite a lot, they're quite nice and they can be used if I remember I've used these heart ones a lot those ones um, what else this is one where I've just done one and I've stuck two hearts and a butterfly note how I've turned the butterfly if you put the butterfly um, as it comes off it looks straight so if you turn it and that it looks a little nicer and probably more believable as a, as an image as a picture and so you can just what's this one it's your life don't let anyone make you feel guilty for living it your way you could have images of people on it you could have you could put in the shapes there's the shapes things and you can um like we did the heart You could put one of those in, maybe. There are some, I haven't done a lot of these shapes, but there are things you can do with the shapes that I haven't done. And so I'm just telling you that you can do these things. 
and there you are. And you could just have that on there. Or you could have three or four of those in different colours. That's quite nice. And you could just like sit it there. Or you could shrink it. Go there. Sure, what I did with that man. Rabbit. And of course, you want the rabbit in some kind of proportion to the man. You don't want the rabbit to be bigger than the man. It just wouldn't do. <laughs> now, that just doesn't work with the man. So. You could do effects, glass buttons, drop shadows, strokes, photographic effects, wow chrome. Oh, there you go. I've just turned it into a chrome bunny. Try the man. It's different anyway, but you play around and see what you think and and give these things a go and you never know what you can come up with. But the best way to learn is to experiment. Just keep experiment, keep playing around with the settings. Um, you can do the layer styles. You can change the so you see as it is there, you can oh sorry, you can you got a drop shadow. See what I'm doing with the drop shadow here? Yeah, now this is, it's dragged over, so it had its already preset place. The other thing too is to get that, you can look through here and see it's got a bevel, it's got an outer, it's got an inner glow, it's got a drop shadow. What did that have to do with it? What did that do? You know, and if you can put a, I just put a stroke on it, you can change the colour of the stroke to blue. Or to... any one of these colors so there's a lot you can do and there's a lot of fun you can have and you can be really really creative and if you don't want to strike you just take it off you can also position the inside outside of it just play around with them then you play with your opacity how do you want it you want it like just there and you want a big size like a sitting in it or really small you know it's up to you, do whatever you like. This is a good way if you go in there and you only want a small, just put a three in and you've got a three. Three cents, but too much. Let's give it a two. Let's try one. And one's pretty good. If we go back to here and then go OK. And that's how it is. So that's not the original. You've played around with it, you've made changes, and you've made it to something different that you want. So I hope this little tutorial and example of what you can do on Photoshop Elements has helped you and showing you just for fun you can dress up photos or your own photos when you put a, um, a quote in and then you can just add things to it to give it a little more shine and to look a little more attractive. A lot of people like just flowers around them and hearts and stuff like that so enjoy yourself and I hope you enjoy Photoshop Elements. It is a really good program.